seen that well I apologize this is a story about a Christian film company and this company just so happens to be made up of members of my family my very talented creative and eccentric family I'm proud to call them my real family have here is some good old venture capitalism. We needed money for the marketing of the war within and it just so happens that I recently secured a very lucrative large investment from a wealthy businessman. So uh, who who got the investment? We one of dad's fans. Anyway, so we're here today to meet and discuss how we're actually going to be implementing these funds into the marketing of the war within. Got it. Idea. Okay. Came to me. Here, here we, we go. go. Buckle Ready? up. Food messaging. I've seen this. I've seen this on the internets. This guy, he takes potatoes and writes messages on it, sends them to people in the mail. <laughs> That's how he makes his money. That's how he makes his money. And how does that help us market the war within? That's a good question, Daddy. Oh, glad you asked it. We right, promote yeah. the movie on the food. You know, it could say like, "Do you want to buy this movie?" Hashtag the war with it. Where are you going with that? Yeah, you can't be serious. Yeah, Alan. Seriously? Get with the program. Oh, I thought you were on board there for a second. What happened? Well, you're wrong. No, I'm a good actor. No, I'm you're a great not. Filmmaker. So, any other ideas? <sighs> what do you think we should do? Right. Dan? Yeah. Look, you guys know filmmaking, and I know art, but we don't know marketing. Well, debatable. We need somebody who knows the Christian market and how they can connect us with people who buy DVDs. How do we find that person? Well, isn't it obvious, my young Padawan? <laughs> we pray. Oh. We pray and yeah. we ask God to bring that person to our doorstep. It's never failed me before. Uh, it usually works. Good point. But uh, look, it's impossible to steer a ship that's not moving. Look, I, I think what we need to do is we need to do some research, find out who marketed the most popular films, and then see if we can hire them to help us. Someone with a ship. No, we're the ship, Alan. We just need to start paddling. Right. That's why we need a sailor. <laughs> Clue in, Cameron. Clue in. Oh, Father in heaven. Oh, let's pray. Sorry. Time. Fuck you. Fuck you. Honey? Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, uh, it's bulletin cover for Sunday. I know that's usually your thing, but yeah. the creative juices were just flowing, babe. I'm telling you. So I'm like, let's juice them out. So, no. so, so, so this is Scarecrow. He's pointing Dorothy to Oz, but Oz is heaven. <laughs> I get it's it. So cool. Yeah. So you're not the only graphic designer now. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, um, technically. I have an idea. So I can but. just, I can help out a little bit okay. if you okay. just <laughs> let me. Whoa, hey, babe. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Um, Let's work. Together, it's yeah, good. So, I think I could just take that idea and come up with something a little more realistic. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I get where you're going on this. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm in the Mario Kart, and Yoshi's like, "No, don't go that way." And like, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> 
well, the younger generation would just... You know, would, you know what yes. would help us out a lot is if you could just go get me a drink of water. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Oh, awesome. Hey. Hey, babe. How did it go? Well, they didn't like the food messaging idea. I can't believe it. I was giving them marketing gold. Well, it's a great idea. Just give them some time. They'll come around. They always do. I just, I don't know. They made me feel like I was an idiot. Am I an idiot? No way. You're a genius. Thanks. So what are you up to? Well, I'm just finishing up getting ready, and then I'm going to go pick up that cake for your parents' anniversary party tomorrow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Inspired. Oh, writing on cakes. Writing on cakes. I can't believe no one's thought of this before. Woo! Like I said, genius. You know what to do. Food messaging has actually been in the works for a very long time, since like yesterday. And after experimentation took place, I have to say I was at the point of giving up. But all of that's about to change. Who knew that cake messaging would be the answer to all of our problems? I really think it's the marketing strategy that we've all been looking for. The War Within is a, is a, it's a fantasy film that explores the realm of the, the human soul. Uh, the film it depicts the soul as six characters. So we divided the soul into your, your, your mind, your memory, your emotions, your heart, conscience and your will. Look, I, I love my sons. They're, they're talented actors and crazy talented filmmakers, but let's be honest. When they get together, they tend to be immature. But you know, something happens to Cameron when he gets in front of people. Some people get stage fright. He gets stage normal. Wayne? Yeah. Name's Styles. Styles Velour. I'm not a man who's easily impressed, but I'm impressed. I think I can help you out. How? Well, I know some people with deep pockets. Oh, oh, wait. Hey, Cameron. Yeah? Uh, need you to meet, uh, this is Mr., um, what's your name? Styles. Styles Velour. Styles Velour. Yeah. I like your style. I bet, I bet he wants to change our style, but he never goes out of style. That's enough. Because of the name. That's oh, because of the name, right. That's you enough. get it? Right, the way you dress. And... Well, I suppose you're wondering what yeah. sort of a guy brings ham to a networking event. That's actually a great question. I, on purpose, make a bad impression wow. just so I can overcome it. That's impressive. All right. And um, how can we help you? I'll tell you how I'm going to help you. I'm going to hook you up with some people who've got money. You could use money, right? Let me think about that first. Yes. It's my destiny. God has called me to do this, probably for this very moment. Preach it. My Preach great brother. When I was a young lad, my grandfather, God rest his soul, from Ireland, he had emphysema. He used to put me on his knee and he would say, <laughs> Styles me, boy. God's going to use you in a mighty way. Wow. Okay. That's my card. Thank you. And I'm going to be in touch. Thank you. I'm a guy who connects people, remember that. I'm in the business of taking unremarkable people and making them <laughs> remarkable. Your ham. We just got off the phone with Cameron and he met with this marketing specialist guy, mm -hmm. this investor dude. Point is, we're gonna make lots of money. We're gonna be millionaires. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. You know what this means? Hmm. We can finally get that movie studio we've always wanted. Yes, and and those granite countertops I've been hearing about. What's, I want those. What's granite? You know, like don't take it for granite. That's where that comes from. Yes, it does. I don't know. I just feel like this guy's an answer to our prayers. You really think so? How else are you gonna explain this, Beth? Dad, Alan, and I pray for someone to come help us. Then, out of nowhere, some guy comes up to me at a speech that I gave that was scheduled months ago and has the exact expertise we're looking for. I mean, that's like some freaky stuff right there. Well, we need to do a background check, too. <laughs> you have little faith. Trust, but verify. Oh, I'm sure he's verified. 
I'm sure he's got verified out the wazoo. Wazoo. So. Sorry. It uh, wasn't ripe yet. So. It sounds too good to be true. It does, doesn't it? It does sound too good to be true. Well, you did pray for God to have someone help you with your marketing. Yeah, we did, but why don't I feel peace about this? Cameron's got a conference call. Come on in. All right, we're all here. It looks like we're all here. Okay, we can start talking about We're the... quitting our jobs. What? No, how? Why? What are you talking about? The marketing guy. He's going to make us rich, so... Oh, I never said that. Sure you did. With the connections this guy has, that means he's going to change your lifestyle. Alice, I was sitting right here when Cameron talked to you, and he never told you that. Are you calling my husband... A liar? Oh, good I grief. Never said that he was a liar. Everybody just calm down. I think we all need some spiritual guidance. Pastor Jeffrey. Yes, yes. Uh, well, well uh, let's remind ourselves what the good book says. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. It. Nobody's quitting their jobs, okay? Yes, we did. Yeah. No. Already done. Check. Have you lost your mind? Alan, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Look, we haven't even decided to work with this guy yet. That's what this meeting was all about. So, uh, I take it this is not the right time to talk about our latest food messaging idea. Food messaging? Well, in light of this new information, uh, you'll have to excuse us. We have to make some calls. All right, Diane, what do you think we should do? We need to pray that Alan and Jessica get their jobs back. I, I mean, I'm talking about the marketing guy. Styles? This is your baby, Cameron. I don't have enough information about this guy to make a decision. I don't even like his name, though. Styles? Really? And Velour just sounds made up. Not like Spunberg. <laughs> Look, the bottom line is this is your decision. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, you have to do what God is calling you to do. Well, how exactly am I supposed to do that? The same way you knew that you were called to make Christian films. You plan your course, and the Lord will establish your steps. Proverbs 69, my life verse. So, if this guy's references check out, and you think this is the right path, we'll be right behind you. But if you step in doggy do, you let us know so we don't get our shoes dirty. Wayne. I think we're done here. We'll be praying for you. Dad and Jeffrey are right. You mean Pastor Jeffrey. Yeah, that's right. We'll be praying for you both. Thanks. And don't forget to pray for Alan and Jessica as well. Definitely. Jeffrey, what do you have to say about all of this? Uh, any words of wisdom? <sighs> words of wisdom. I feel like I should get a book or something. <laughs> yeah, why don't you grab a book? Might look kind of cool. Ooh, heavy. Theology. <laughs> what does God want us to do? Big question. I think the answer is found in the divine human cooperative. There's not a road map. We've got to remember, God has prepared in advance for us good works. We're His workmanship. Cameron was called to be a filmmaker. I was called to preach it. Amen? Diane, she was called to be a graphic designer. All a part of God's plan. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. I like to say, straight as an arrow. Cake messaging. Who knew? I know. It's like the answer was in front of us the whole time. <laughs> and the whole time. Oh, Cameron's calling. Cameron! Hello. Hello. Hey, buddy. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's uh, Mom and Dad's anniversary cake. But more importantly, 
It's to promote the movie. Are like you I talked about. kidding me? This makes no sense. Do you want to buy this movie? First of all, it has nothing to do with their anniversary. <laughs> Second, that's a weird way to promote our movie. Well, Cameron, I understand your concerns, but we got like 20 more of these things in the trunk. They're oh. totally starting to melt, Yeah. So... We got to go door to door. That's right. Spread the word. Yep. Wait, well, hold on, Alan. That's a really no, bad Cameron, idea. No, Cameron, we'll talk about this later. We really got to get going. It's a bad idea. Mom and dad are our last stop, so we'll, we'll be there soon. What are you doing? Uh, Alan! Time to get started. That's right, door to door, baby.